QuickBooks versus Zoho Books, which is the best accounting software. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about QuickBooks and Zoho Books, what the interfaces of both of these platforms are like, what is the pricing and different types of features that you can get on different plans, and which one you should choose. So let's get into it. Now, let's start off with QuickBooks and let's just take a brief look at their overall interface and pricing and then we will compare that to Soho Books. Well, in QuickBooks, as you guys can see, it's a really nice and simple layout. You have your main dashboard, then on your left, you have your panel, which includes your transactions, sales, expenses, customers and readers, time, taxes, employees, reports, and your own accountant. Then if we take a look at Zoho Books, it's structured pretty much the same. So you have your central dashboard, you have your items, banking, sales, purchases, time tracking, accountant, and reports. Now, if you take a look at both of these platforms, they allow you to connect to your bank. You have bank connectivity with some basic accounting features. You also have double entry on both of these. You have inventory management. So you can go ahead and go into sales and manage your products and services so you can do that on both of those platforms plus if you take a look at receipt capture you have free receipt capture on quickbooks as well as free for five scans and then ten dollars per add-on for the zoho books plan now other than that, both of them do have a free trial. Zoho Books has a 14-day free trial, and then QuickBooks has a 30-day free trial. They're also running a $1 per month plan, which allows people to try out QuickBooks for three months for only $1 a month. Now, one thing to note is that QuickBooks does not have any free plan. So uh, whatever you want to do on QuickBooks, eventually you would have to upgrade to the paid plan. However, Zoho Books allows you the mobility to always use a free plan. So if you have some limited expenses and limited pricing and you don't necessarily have something that's going to expand, you can easily run your business, run your accounting directly on Zoho Books. Now, let's go a bit more in depth on both of these platforms. First off, we have to go for the accounting features. So QuickBooks offers a double entry accounting software to ensure calculation and accuracy and tax compliance. You can monitor your accounts receivable and accounts payable and maintain a record of tax payments and view 1099 and sales and tax reporting on the platform. However, you should note that Zoho Books does not automatically calculate sales taxes. So for a different state, so if you're in Texas and you're running your business in Arizona, you would have to calculate or add those sales taxes all on your own. Or you can go into Zoho and you can go into their settings and you have the option for integration and marketplace so you can go into the marketplace and you can download a extension called there's an extension called avalara and that can help you calculate all types of sales taxes so that can be something that can be a bit annoying for certain people now if we take a look at quickbooks it also follows the same approach so it's a dual entry accounting approach which syncs your bank and credit card transactions to review your accounts receivable and payable However, unlike Zoho Books, QuickBooks will automatically calculate sales taxes for you without an integration with a third-party app. You can also get a picture of the financial health by viewing your various reports. Now, both of these platforms also have invoices and estimates that they can provide you with. These estimates and invoices are especially important if you are someone that is running your business online and you do need these expenses and you do need these invoices to be sent to your suppliers to your customers and more so whole books includes numerous fields so you can customize the invoice on a very granular level so if we go into their sales over here you guys will see you have the option for invoices and i'll show you guys a simple invoice you guys will see the preference options and i will go ahead and click on save and continue 
Now after that you will see there are so many different fields. You can customize a lot of it and this might even be overwhelming at first but it's appreciated by most larger companies with complex invoicing needs. You can also generate a code and later convert it into an invoice or sales orders. Now invoices are capped at 1000 per year on the free plan and 5000 per year on the standard plan on Zoho Books. Now, if we take a look at QuickBooks, QuickBooks lets users send an unlimited number of invoices to unlimited numbers of clients. You can set up recurring invoices and it could be codes, it could be estimates or anything and it is all customizable in their website. However, you must upgrade to the essentials plan if you want to enter time into your invoices. So that is one thing that is limited within your QuickBooks accounting software because you do have to upgrade to a you know higher priced plan just for one particular feature and if that one feature is necessary for you then you definitely will have to upgrade. Now you also have inventory management and payment processing both on uh, Zoho Books and QuickBooks and if we take a look at the payment processing of Zoho Books it allows customers to pay directly into your bank account using a debit card, credit card, or bank account. Zoho Books also connects with multiple payment getaways like Stripe, AuthorizeNet, GoCard, PayPal, PayPal Payments Pro, CSG Fort, WorldPay, and Square. So it offers a client portal to those clients that can log in to manage their transaction, which sets it apart from QuickBooks. Whereas if we take a look at QuickBooks payment, which is also included for free. So if we go ahead and go into our menu, we can go into the payments over here so that we would have to, you know, link our bank account. But if we take a look at QuickBooks payment, it lets your business accept payments from all major credit and debit cards as well as bank transfers. Plus, you also can accept Venmo, PayPal, um, debit cards as well as Apple Pay and eChecks. You can also use QuickBooks uh, Go Payment app mobile app and card reader to accept credit or debit cards in person by tap, dip or swipe or via a digital wallet on your customer's device. QuickBooks also integrates with payment getaways such as PayPal, Square, and Stripe. So overall, it does hold up pretty well. Now, if we take a look at their pricing, Zoho is definitely a cheaper alternative to QuickBooks. QuickBooks is something that has a lot of pros because it's used by all accountants and bookkeepers. It has free receipt catcher offered on all plans. You can add payroll to all of your available stores, and you can also add sales tax directly. But with QuickBooks, there are a few cons. You must choose between a free trial and, you know, either you can go for $1 per month for three months or use a free trial. You also are going to be charged a lot. If you consider their full prices, you are going to be paying $18 on their simple plan, $27 on their essentials, and $38 on their plus. Plus, their customer service could also be improved and the capped plan of users is 25 even on their most expensive plan whereas if we take a look at zoho books it has a free forever plan it has a 14-day free trial it has many transparent pricing options to choose from however there are a few cons of zoho as well such as outside integration for automatic sales calculations must you must you know set up your own invoicing and inventory add-ons to get full functionality of those areas Plus, you have a payroll add-on available only in 12 states currently. So, in my opinion, I personally do think that Zoho Books is the better tool for most starter businesses. However, if your business needs are something or somewhat larger than a free plan or even the professional plan on Zoho, then I would say that QuickBooks might be a better alternate for you. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.